What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're here at Memorial Park Cemetery in Skokie, Illinois, visiting the grave sites of Jerry Springer, Karen Cookie Cupsonet, and actor Robert Reed, who you might know as Mike Brady from The Brady Bunch. The last time I was here, which was two or three days after Jerry Springer was buried, they didn't have his grave marker placed in the ground yet. It was actually sitting off to the side. Uh, so we're going to stop by now and see how it looks. Now, visiting his grave was kind of an emotional moment for me. I met him uh, dozens of times. For those that didn't know, the Jerry Springer show was free, and all you had to do was call in and tell them how many tickets you needed. And uh, sometimes he would do a meet and greet after, and I got to chat with him. I was in high school and would cut class to go to the show. And uh, one time I admitted that to him and he said, well, if you're going to cut class, at least it's for a good reason. He was seriously a super, super nice guy. Now, after he passed, there was a video that came out regarding his estate being split. And we found out that he kind of sort of abandoned two of his other children, but he left them everything, which was uh, kind of cool to see in the video. Now we're coming up to the gravesite of Karen Cookie Cupsonet, and her death is sort of an interesting story. Karen was found naked and deceased on November 28, 1963. It was reported by a conspiracy theorist that she made a call stating JFK was going to be killed 20 minutes before he actually was. Her father, Herb, who was a very respected columnist, was pretty pissed and basically said it wasn't true and there was no proof of this. But because of that, many people believe she was purposely silenced. I do find it odd, though, that she was found deceased that same week JFK was assassinated. If you guys want me to do a full video on Karen and her story, please let me know in the comments. Now, before we move on to the next grave, I do want to tell you guys this cemetery is very beautiful. If you're a cemetery explorer like myself, you should definitely come visit here. The cemetery also has a good amount of historical figures here, like former NFL players, Major League Baseball players, actors and actresses, composers, TV producers. There's even a Nobel Prize winner buried here. So if you like long walks through cemeteries and visiting historical figures, definitely come here. Memorial Park Cemetery located at 9900 Gross Point Road in Skokie, Illinois. We're making our way now to visit actor Robert Reed who was born October 19, 1932, in the nearby city of Highland Park. Many of us know him as the dad from the Brady Bunch TV series that many of us grew up watching. But what I'm about to tell you might shock some of you, so please do not get mad at me. But based on the research I have done, he wasn't very fond of the show and the work he did on it. He didn't want to be remembered as Mike Brady or the dad from the Brady Bunch. He was a trained professional, and he mastered in the work of Shakespeare, and that's what he wanted to be known for. Look, it was no secret he didn't like the show or his character. According to the New York Post, he would have a habit of meticulously fact-checking each script. And he would often go to the creator, Sherwood Schwartz, and would refuse to say the line. His other co-stars would confirm that he wasn't an easy person to work with. At some point, it became clear that he was only doing this for the money. And while they were filming the show, uh, he had a habit of getting drunk while filming. And sometimes they had to end filming uh, because of his bad behavior and angry outbursts. Now, what's even crazier is that they said he was extremely difficult to work with. And he actually wasn't in some of the final episodes, including the series finale, because he had an objection to the material. But that's the type of guy he was. He would like just go crazy over the scripts. He would fact check everything. I can't imagine working with someone like that. And even reading this now, it's kind of disturbing. Now, I did find out that, you know, the creator actually was planning to kill off the Mike Brady character and the kids would uh, help Carol find love again. That, that's wild. I, I can't when I see Robert Reed. I see a father figure, and I know it's just a TV show, but it's, it's kind of crazy that this is the type of guy he really was. Sadly, he contracted HIV and later passed from uh, colon cancer on May 12, 1992. I will leave it at that. I want to show you guys his grave, and, uh, you know, it, it's really beautiful. I, I was kind of shocked to see how small it was, but it is what it is. 
So if you guys can, please like and subscribe to my channel. I do lots of uh, ghost hunting, cemetery exploring, and other weird things. So thank you guys so much, and stay tuned for the next video.